Hello and welcome to Alton Scott Talent. How to make trifle. So what you need is basically make some jelly and you do that by using 425 ml and three quarters of a, that's three quarters of a pint of boiling water. So you get the boiling water, get the kettle on like that, boil the water. Here's one I've made earlier. I've already done that. Um, so the jelly takes ages. You, you've got to cool it for 10 minutes, right, the jelly. And then you've got to pour it over some like broken biscuits. And, and then it goes in this, use a bowl, you know, use a bowl, something like that, trifle bowl. Use a trifle bowl, nice clean bowl. And um, so what you do, or a glass bowl, use a glass bowl. And um, you've got a glass bowl there. Ow, jeez. Um, it's a glass bowl and uh, glass bowl, there's a glass bowl right um, this is the sugar, you're going to use the sugar so the ingredients are basically um, you need to make jelly um, put some peaches in it um, broken biscuits um, so what you do with your jelly you start off with your jelly later you do custard and the topping but um, uh, stop me from going too fast. Anyway, so basically, you, this sugar's in the way. This sugar's in the way. Right, I can't concentrate. Anyway, so you've got your jelly. Um, so basically, you make your jelly with 425 millilitres of boiling water. Stir it all around. Make sure it's all stirred round so it doesn't go all gooey at the bottom. And uh, three quarters of a pint, that is about, of uh, boiling water. Cool it for 10 minutes, pour it over the broken sponges, and then refrigerate for about 30 to 40 minutes. So you put it in, uh, in the fridge. And here's one that's just been in the fridge for 40 minutes. Right, so that's perfect, perfect. I've got some peaches in there as well. And it's like jelly and it's set. And it's got the, the biscuits in there, biscuits in there. So it's, it's perfect trifle. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And uh, right, so you've got that there. The next thing you do is you make custard. <laughs> I've shown you how to make custard before, haven't I? Um, so same sort of thing. Um, mix the custard powder. Custard powder. Tablespoon. Right. Use the sugar. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons in there. Go in there. I've already done that. So we don't need the sugar anymore, put the sugar away. Um, right, so that's your, that's your custard base. There you've got your custard there. Now you need loads of milk, don't you? You need loads of milk. Um, to go with your custard, you're going to need probably, I'd say, so you've got, you've, remember the sugar, if you, you don't know what two tablespoons are, large tablespoons of sugar. Um, or 35 grams of sugar in a saucepan and measure 425 ml or three quarters of a pint of cold milk so that looks about like that that looks a bit more 425 that doesn't look enough Look at this. No, it's a little bit more, a little bit more than milk in there. Bet you think I've made this before, don't you? <laughs> right, um, well, when you've got it on the, on the level, it looks like four two five mil, so that was actually it was perfect, perfect all the time. Right, so four two five mil, three quarters of a pint of cold milk. Add a little of the milk to the pan and stir until smooth. Then add the remainder. So what you do, get a wooden spoon. Don't use a metal one. You'll ruin, you'll ruin the pan. So you, that's it. So what you do is you put a bit of the milk in here. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely. Bit of milk there. And you stir it around, don't you? You don't need a tablespoon thing anymore. I'll show you. Get rid of, get rid of the tablespoon. So right, you're just stirring it around. So it's making like a paste, a goldeny, goldeny, yellowy, custardy paste there. So that's it. This is going to be my entry for the Britain's Got Bake Off or whatever. Anyway, so um, it's on Saturday, isn't it? But it's coming back. Britain's Got Talent. Brilliant. It's on Saturday. I'll be watching it. Saturday night. Anyway, quick, quick plug for Britain's Got Talent there. Anyway, so um, I'll be on it next year. I'm bound to be on it. Um, you stir it till smooth. Right, so basically keep on stirring like that. And you heat it. So you've got the little bit there, a little bit there, ha <laughs> ha and you've got the remainder there, the 425 mil. So that's 425 mil all together with that, three quarters of a pint all together. So you put that on the heat, you can hear the gas going. Bit too hot in the kitchen, 23, 23, it should be about 21 in your kitchen. Open the window, you know, if you're not making a video, cool it down a bit. So anyway, you can see, I like trifle. Anyway, mark of a good chef. Always got a bit of chubby, chubbiness there. Right, so, um, I was doing that thing with Tyson Fury there this morning. Yeah. Doing my best. Oh, my knee's killing me. Broken foot. Anyway, so, no one believes me. Anyway, so here we go. Stir until smooth and then add the remainder. Heat and then until... So you're making custard, basically. <laughs> so you've got, you've got this, and you pour the rest in it and stir it around. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. This is going to be amazing. So, I'll show you. I'll show you here. This is... The genius at work. Look at that stirring technique. Brilliant. It's what you do, right? You know, get a cameraman if you can, you know. Don't don't try and do it all yourself, you know. Smile for the cameraman. Brilliant. Anyway, so here I am making the custard. It's pretty, you know, you don't need to see that. So put your back there and you can watch from there. It's all, it's all, you know, techni technical genius, this is. So you, you, you put your toothpaste there to hold up your iPad and that brush. Um, make sure it doesn't fall over your iPad when you're doing the video. Keeps on slipping down for some reason. Keeps on slipping down. Not bad feeling about this video. Anyway, better hurry up making the custard. So what you do is you remove it from the heat and then you add a quarter of a pint of cold milk when, and the, while stirring vigorously and then leave it to cool. That's one way of doing it. I say it's the best way. Always use the hob. Microwave, you know, I'm not sure what you're doing with microwaves. You know, you, you can do it with microwave. With the microwave, 800 watts, category E, you mix the contents of the sachet with two tablespoons, 35 grams of sugar in a large bowl, um, big bowl, measure 425, same mil of milk. Add a little of the milk to the bowl and stir with a fork until smooth, then add the remainder. Heat on full power for six minutes, stirring half, halfway through. Slowly add a further 140 mil uh, of cold milk while stirring vigorously, then leave to cool. Anyway, I've got better put this back on the hob and make the custard. Alright, so I'm making the custard over here. You can't see me, but... Name that tune. Name that tune. Get that one. Number one. Number two.
Get that one. Great British Home Chorus, can't beat it. Well done, Sir Gareth Malone. Number three. Number three. Number three. Keep stirring the custard. Absolutely, don't get that wrong. You don't want it to, to bubble over too much. You get a nice, lovely consistency with the custard there. And um, what you should do is you, you leave it to cool when, it's, when you've made your custard, right? And then you've got dream topping as well to do. Dream topping, again, 110 ml, that's four fluid ounces. You've got to use this plastic blue thing. So it looks like that, about that much. About that much milk. That's for your dream topping. Dream topping. And uh, what you've got to do is, is you get it into a small bowl. And you've got dream topping basically in a sachet. And you whisk it steadily until the mixture forms soft peaks. Best results using an electric whisk. I've not got one. Anyway, it's good enough to use a whisk. We haven't got a whisk. We've got that. <laughs> Can't find it. That's it. Whisk, something like that. A whisk, whisker. Whisker, a whisker away from finding it. Right, so your custard now. Your custard now is doing all that business. That's what it looks like, your custard. Don't do it too much, otherwise it'll burn. It'll burn in your pan, and then you've got burnt custard. No good. So, right, you've got your, your custard looking, that looks beautiful, that's perfect. And then what you can do is pour it back into this, pour it back into there, so you've got it there, perfect. See, pour it back into your measuring jug, just gives you a bit more control, you know. You've got, your, you've got things here, play around, that's your trifle base. You've got your, your custard, oh, that's amazing. Custard is brilliant. Trifle is brilliant. Oh, this is great. Really looking forward to this. It's only a trifle. It's only a trifle, a mere trifle. A mere trifle. Oh, you wouldn't think it takes, you wouldn't think it'd take long to make a trifle, would you? It's nearly, nearly 15 minutes here. You only get two minutes for the audition in Britain's Got Talent, so it's not really enough to do trifle. Um, you know, shame really. I think I'm entering the wrong show actually. Should we entering something like Master Chef or Britain's Got Bake Off, Britain, Bake Off Talent Show, Bakery, David Bake, David Baker, David Baker the series, David Baker the series. That's it. Perfect. Right, so you've got that. You just basically with. Don't mess about with it, just put it in the washing up. Got all your custard there. You know, try and get try and get too much out of it. You risk losing the whole thing. So you've got your custard there and you can move it around and to your heart's content, you see, you can you can give it a good a good go there. You've got to let it cool anyway, and you're gonna pour that. You're gonna pour that over that. When it's cool. Right, what I'll do is I'll show you how to make the dream topping while that's cooling. Right, that wooden spoon. In, you know, get get a, a little silver spoon. Back on the custard again. Back on the custard. The custard's really important. You know, you can't beat custard. You know. Custard is the answer. Custard is the answer. Along with coffee and oh, coffee. Yeah. Coffee, custard, chocolate, 
all those things are the answer. Trifle all together. It's pretty good. So this is I'm stirring it around while it's cooling to get a super super custard that is super super look look at that I'll show you there's no lumps in it at all whatsoever it's just brilliant custard it's perfect absolutely amazing I think I found a new talent anyway so we're on the custard here on the custard oh it's just incredible um that's really good that didn't think it would be as good as this but um, anyway, dream topping, dream topping, what you do is you get your, your cold milk, remember just 110 ml, um, four, four fluid ounces of cold milk, stick it in a small bowl, like that, and then you put your dream topping in, dream topping. Go crazy, I mean, you know, use a teaspoon, use, use what you like to stir it, you know. You can use, you can just use what, what what's easy. There's no right or wrong, you know, you can use your teaspoon. A teaspoon there. You could use a bigger spoon, make it easy on yourself. Make it easy on yourself. What you could do is turn the gas off. So it doesn't get too hot in your kitchen. So I've, I've just left it on like an idiot. But um, turn it off, turned it off now. 24, health and safety, always remember. Health and safety. So here we go, I'll show you what I'm doing. So basically, you, you stir it around a bit and you've got your dream topping there. But obviously, obviously, it's all, you know, it's not right. So what you need is a whisk. So get rid of the teaspoon, teaspoon not doing it. And if you've got electric whisk, you know, brilliant. Otherwise, it's just just easy, isn't it? You know, just keep on whisking. Might, might get a bit over you. But, you know, don't worry about it. It'll, it'll, it'll come out in the, in the wash, in the washing up. It'll come out in the washing up. Don't worry about it. Put on my trousers there, don't worry. Let's get it off. Use a cloth if you get anything on. Get a cloth, you know, spill anything. Just use a cloth. Right, perfect. Right, so that's all nice and lovely. Let's see what I'm doing, whisking away, whisking away. Whisk and not whip crack away, whisk, whisk away. The best results use an electric whisk. If you want a bit more of a softer topping, here's the cook's tip, is to put a little bit more milk in. So let's go for it. We've got milk, so put some more milk in it. Oh, that's looking better. Now. Actually, that's looking better. So I don't know why they said 110 mil. 110 mil is a bit low. Bit low. Get some more milk in there, have a party. Oh, it's really, that's that's doing much better. Oh, this is going to be milk topping, never mind, dream topping. Milk topping. Right. Close. Right, so back on, we've got the dream topping, dreaming it away. And your custard is cooling down while I'm saying this. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, still, still really hot the custard. You might have to pause this and go into part two. Oh, it doesn't matter. What I'll do is I'll, I'll play a bit of guitar for ten minutes while oh, this is just cooling. What do you reckon, you know? Play a bit of guitar. Play a bit of guitar. Just got, still got, someone's got to do it. You've got to whisk it. You know? Whisk. If you've got an electric whisk, say, you're laughing. This dream topping is good. Remember, all, all the things together, what you're going to need to do is um, 
what you need to do is when you when you put the custard over, leave leave it to, to cool totally, you know, and then make the topping which you've done. Swirl over the swirl it over and scatter any chocolate sprinkles or anything else anything else you've got on top. Looking for some chocolate sprinkles there. You know the sort of things you can have like decorations to trifle, make it look nice, or sugary things or chocolate sprinkles. Wish you had some. Yeah. Bit more dream topping in there. Yeah, I wish I had some chocolate sprinkles, I just can't find any. I've obviously lost the chocolate sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, as if by magic. Right, so those are for later. Don't forget those chocolate sprinkles. That's going to go over your dream topping. Dream topping. Right, so this is going cold. But this will be in a lump. If it, so what you should do, I reckon, is pour it over now, because otherwise it'll just be in a lump. So I reckon you should pour it over straight away. That's what I'm doing. See, tricks of the trade. You know all the all the, all the tricks, tips, tricks, cutlery. Leave that cut away there. All the way. Right, so I'll show you. That's your trifle, that's your custard. Who cares about time? Who cares about time? It's a bit hot. Let's let's pour this over the top and see what happens. Not good all day, you know. Got to, got, got to learn how to be a rock star. Mm. Because I've got to translate novels and things like that. Yeah. 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 Translated. Yeah. Right, so you pour, you're pouring all this over and smooth it over so you get a nice result. Smooth it over. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice, I must say. And you can do it straight from the saucepan. I just did it just to show you. It'd be a bit more adventurous, you know. Still a bit hot though. So, I mean, if it's too hot for you, make sure you've got a glove. Make sure you've got gloves on. You know. Rubber gloves here, you know. You need a hand. Right, so, um, there you go. It's too hot. It's not, it, this has cooled down a bit. This is cool down, so you just put it over the top like that. Right, half an hour program nearly. I'm making, you know, it's a good job I didn't play my guitar. Right, so anyway, you're dying to hear me play it on. Right. Oh, well, I could sing for you while, while I'm doing this. Sing for my supper. Right, what you could do, always remember what you can do with these sort of things. Is you use this kind of thing and you just smooth it over, smooth it over, just smooth it over. Perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Perfect. That's perfect. A bit more custard's got to go in though. If you short the custard, you can always make some more. You can always make some more custard because before you do the dream topping, make some more custard and then. Cover it all up, make sure it's cooled, you know, and then just pour it in, and that's it. I'm desperate to just eat some of this, but it's not, it's not good. Baking et etiquette, David Baker. So here we go. This is nearly there, nearly there. As I said before, there's a bit left in it, but don't go crazy. You know, you can always, you can always have, a, have a bit more of that later. 
um, or I mean you know you can spoon it out later this is just taking too long um, that can go and wash it up you've got your dream topping it's really you've got to you've got to wait for your custard to just like settle there and wait for your custard to settle leave it to complete you know you've got to leave it to cool completely really um, how cool is it really cool really cool is the answer um, so that's your dream topping make sure you don't get this wrong whisk it around if you keep on whisking keep on whisking just keep on whisking that's it that's the answer keep on going keep on going keep on whisking away whisking galore Whisking galore. Remember that film? Brilliant, wasn't it? Scottish people with the whisky galore. There we go. Whisking galore. Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant. Right, you've got your dream topping there. This is a bit runny. You know, you can have it really, you know, not runny. But I used a load of milk, as you, as you saw. It's going to be... You know, because it's it's difficult with the hand whisk. And whiskey galore, come on. One of those twists, put it in the six. One, two, three, put it in six. Next five, nine, eight, eight, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, quick. Come on, a bit of language training while you're doing it, you know. Count to 20 in Spanish, come on. One of those twists, put it in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, Once, twice, 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 right. Twenty. You've done twenty of those. You can see this is just get into it. Just enjoy it. You know, you can enjoy it. Baking is great, isn't it? It's just so much fun. You, know, you could almost do it with your sunglasses. It's that easy. You know. Don't do, don't do it in sunglasses. Health and safety. Watch out for that. These these aren't sunglasses. These are reading glasses. But the sun comes, stop me getting blind by the sun. I can read outside. See. All the tricks. All the tricks. Get talent. Get talent. Man. Right. So you've got your you've got your dream topping going, and you, we've got a, we've got about a, probably uh, two minutes to go now. So I'll show you what to do. Right, do all that. Da -da 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 -da. Finale, finale. Ness and Dorma. Finale with Ness and Dorma, whistling Ness and Dorma. Okay, go for it. And the, and the chocolate sprinkles as well. Okay. Ness and Dorma. Perfect trifle, Nelson Dorma, Vincero.